What are the best eyeshadow palettes for beginner? Are drugstore brands as good as high end? How do I know if this eyeshadow palette is for me? Hi beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Moitri. I create video related with makeup. And if you're a beginner or feeling little overwhelmed by all the different eyeshadow options out there, don't worry, I have got you covered in today's video. I'm going to break it down the different types of eyeshadows from powders to creams and many more. By the end of this video, you will exactly know which one is perfect for you. So stick around because the right eyeshadow is it's just a few tips away now if we're just starting out you might be wondering which eyeshadow is best for me well there are few things to consider that is formulation pigmentation color selections and i'm going to break it down into different types so that by the end of the video you'll know exactly what you're looking for the first thing is powder eyeshadow second is cream eyeshadow and third is liquid eyeshadow powder eyeshadows are the most common and beginner friendly option they come in matte shimmers and even metallic finishes if you're looking for easy blending this is where to start a neutral palette with browns and light beings if you're like a more dewy glossy finish cream eyeshadows are very great they are also very forgiving and super easy to apply even with just your fingers but be very careful they can crease if not set with a powder and lastly the liquid eyeshadows are for those when you want a very quick wash of color they dry really fast and tend to be long lasting but blending might take some practice if you're a newbie First, I have this Nigake eyeshadow palette. This was the very first brand I used when I started my makeup journey and I still love it. I own this five palette. Each had its own evening vibe and different variants. And first is my very favorite birthday cake palette. This palette is all about fun. It is filled with vibrant pinks and reds. Perfect for creating those playful looks. And here are some swatches. They are stunning. The shadows work really well. I recently, not recently though, two years back, or in your back i created a jenny inspired makeup look from this palette and it turned out to be so amazing it is fantastic like starting point of your makeup so go for this next i have this mocha mix palette by nika k nothing much to say about this palette as you can see this is a uh, absolute brown shades so it is everyday look if the shimmer shades are good the matte shades are both of them are really impressive so it's an everyday and a must-have uh, palette i think so you can go for it for everyday looks for neutral looks and minimalistic looks sadly this is expired so i need to throw this Next up, we have this Poison Apple palette. As you can see, I have used so much that it's broken now. And this one is your go-to for all things red. The glitter shades are so smooth, almost like butter. Just look at those swatches. They shine beautifully. A chef's kiss. The matte shades are equally very impressive, making this palette a must-have for anyone who loves a very bold look. In so this palette, all the shades are really great, really impressive. But let's talk about this particular shade, which is a base color and almost a very cream cream shade i'm not a fan of this particular shade just my point of view i just don't like it because it's very chalky and hard to blend that color or just it doesn't work nicely but other shades are really great so you can definitely purchase it if you are into bold looks now let's talk about this blue eyes palette which is a matchy matchy with my dress yes but i'm not a very huge fan of this palette but we will talk about this later but let's swatch this matte shades you can see it's beautiful there's nothing bad in it it is buildable blended beautiful so let's talk about the glitter shades as i swatch that glittery shades you can see it they're not as glittery as i expected it to be I don't know it is a little bit hard to walk with you can see it is hardly noticeable hardly you can see that from far that is a glitter shades and why these two shades why are even they here I don't know they don't work they don't pop the swatches are a bit of lackluster unfortunately so yeah I don't really know why those two shades are here now moving on to the next palette that is the oh honey palette which features all the yellows and i love the concept but i found the matte shades to be little chalky the glitter shades perform much better though it is a mix back for me but if you're after those yellows it's worth considering but only for the glitter shades you know the glitter shades really work really work and they really pop they work they're they're smooth you, you even from the far you can see it there are different kinds of shades of the shimmers i i really love it but this uh, matte shades um, they're very like i, I can't can't really work with that but this particular shade i'm showing right now is a little bit buttery but can you really like pop it when you actually apply on your eyelids i don't see it so i don't know 
but honestly speaking i have used and abused this palette i have used it for only the shimmer shades i really love it the browns also work over here but the matte yellow shades are very difficult to find so but it's worth considering the price point you're giving if you're a beginner then you can go ahead and buy this because this is affordable and it has good shade range pigmentation is good blendability is also and it is travel friendly suitable for all the skin tones and it has minimal fallouts and great for the beginners so you can go ahead and buy this as we cannot really expect that all the shades will do really great but all of the shades really maximum shades work really well so it's a pro from my side so you can definitely go and use them up but my top palette is birthday cake poison apple oh honey palette and the brown palette lastly i have this glam hot mess palette i was quite disappointed with this one for the price i expected more look at these swatches some of the shades just vanish when i blend it out i specifically bought it for the orange and yellow shades but they turned out to be super chalky and hard to work with i cannot recommend this one but i had to had to say this because what's up with these colors what this brand is doing i'm not familiar with this brand i haven't used much products from this brand but what's up with this eyeshadow i have seen so many reviews on this particular product it's like really nice really pocket friendly like you can travel friendly but i really love this concept of this magnetic kind of closure but what's up with the colors bro i mean you can see how hard i'm pressing it to like to get that color but i'll I, I will not edit this part and i will show you guys that what's up with this palette i i don't know why why would someone even buy this particular product i mean can you see any different difference i don't see it i don't see it this is nothing nothing comes out from this palette it is not like it's expired or something but it never worked never worked see this brown shade it is it, nothing is there nothing there's nothing i'm i'm pissed off to a point that why did i even spend so many bucks on this this yolo shade is i mean the oh honey palette is much much better than this particular palette see the orange shade it's just it's so nice color but when i blend it it's nothing there's nothing and it's so hard to blend you can see the harsh lines i mean i at this point i am dot 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 but yeah i do i this yellow shade what is it i will scrape it off a little bit so that i can just get out that 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 particular color but this is the shade and where is the shade it's not even transferring in my in my arms i don't know how it will show up in my eyes i have used it but it never worked for me so don't buy it i don't recommend it i didn't approve this particular product so now this segment is my favorite one because it's the eyeshadow bentos from kaja beauty i know they are very pricey but the performance is totally worth it i i promise they're so worth it and this is expired as you can see the pink matte shade is expired the purple one is broken but they work really well even this one is expired the whole bento is actually expired i'm not swatching that shade because it's expired so oh, no 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 i can see it actually so no and this pink glitter shade oh my god this is a butter this is a butter the moment is a moment you apply it it just melts in your skin it's so good and it comes with a small like a mirror and it's so travel friendly and this is another variant which is an uh, like an yellow golden shade this orange look at this orange it blends so beautifully i'm like do the see the comparison that is from that pop, pop exo palette and this is from kaja beauty can you see it it blends beautifully it shows shows up on your skin so i mean it's worth it and this it this is not a red shade this is a pink red very cute shade so yeah worth purchasing than this glam pop exo now let's talk about this some liquid metallic shades these are very perfect for the on the go looks and i have this blue metallic shade from mars cosmetics i don't really use this often i don't know if i've ever worn it because it tends to settle on my eye folds but it glides so beautifully it is so pigmented it is so good but i found it a little bit tricky to work with so i didn't really like end up using this so however this gives a very royal vibes it's it's a very nice shade very unique so but but still i didn't really use it it glides on beautifully and it gives really a striking metallic finish 
and next i have this og's liquid shadows from swiss beauty i have got both old and a new one and i absolutely love them they glide on so well without settling in my folds the first one is finished nothing is coming out sorry there is no swatch. but both of them are in different shades i absolutely love them you can see i have worn this today and from far also you can see that they are like shining and they really glide on really well without settling on my folds which is a huge plus but the only downside is that they lack shade names on the packaging which can be frustrating like i can see it right now that i cannot like tell you what are the shades i'll check it and i will just put it on the screen somewhere but the formula makes up for it and also very travel friendly so yeah worth purchasing now i have the last palette to recommend which is a little pricey but look at my hands they're so glittery glittery lastly if you're into creating diverse makeup looks you can go for this mars eyes can kill palette it is a fantastic option it features a variety of different matte and shimmer shades and glitter shades think of blacks greens blues purples yellows orange pinks reds browns blacks silvers you have all the shades and also you have a range of shimmer but shade. i'm not really fan with the pressed glitter shades because they are nice but they are all over the place so after i remove it because it just it, it is probably my fault that i cannot remove it but look at this shade this is a royal blue shade i love it but uh, after removing it it's just there for two next two days i don't like it and next i have this particular one eyeshadow which is also expired uh, one black shadow to work with that's all for this video just before purchasing any eyeshadow palette just consider your makeup style do you love bold colors or neutral tones think about the occasions and look for something everyday friendly or a palette with special events don't be afraid and mix and match with the palettes to create unique looks and if you love this video don't forget to like share and subscribe and comment down below what video you would like to see next and see you soon in the next video bye